Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This week I'm using a new deck, it's called the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding. You can see the review, I've gone really uh, into detail with this review and you can see how how the cards look like and you can also see how the cards are put together and the overall picture. So have a look. It's quite a long video, but I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you are looking for new decks. For those that uh, have come here for the reading, welcome. This is your reading from the 7th to the 13th of September. And um, please subscribe and hit the bell on all if you're new and welcome. If you would like to become a cyber angel, like uh, you will hear me say my cyber angel quite a bit in the videos, please join us or me for uh, in the life on Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. And welcome back to my usual loyal followers and viewers, the Cyber Angels. Thank you for your loyalty and trust. There is also a special offer on this week. It was only to remain uh, until the coming Sunday, but because I didn't go live yesterday, I didn't really announce it again. There is a special offer and this will be until uh, for an one and a half weeks. So uh, Sunday the 13th, this special offer will finish. You can have an extensive reading and a very in-depth reading um, for 35 euros. It will be about 30 minutes long and I don't stop at 30 minutes. If it's 32 or 35 minutes, I would like to get finish the reading. It is quality and not quantity that I believe in. So if you want, would like to have an extensive reading, then get in there before it's over and uh, you'll be the first come, first served. Okay, so I hope you will take a note of that and try it out. If you would like to have any other reading, uh, then have a look at the website because there are different readings and see what reading you want to have for 30 minutes. If you just want a romance reading, fine. If you want a crystal ball reading with cards, then I'll do that in the 30 minutes. The 30 minutes is for any reading that you wish to have. Okay, now let's begin and let's go to the story your story for this week. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Please like and share. Thank you. Hi Gemini, this is your reading for the 7th to the 13th of September. I'm using the Transparent Tarot. It's a new deck and if you would like to see more uh, of this deck then have a look at the review. Okay, you're going to get 12 cards um, because I'm going to layer them and if you want to know what that means then have a look at the review. We start off with the Five of Wands so there could be competition around you or disagreements to me um, um, the Five of Wands means disagreements but they're short-lived so don't worry but to me the Five of Wands also means competition so you might be uh, in the energy of competition with other people at the moment which could cause also arguments or debates. Don't worry because you've got the gift of the gab and you can do the talk, you can sell ice cubes to Eskimos. The next card, that's Wednesday, is number one. There is a new beginning and number one is the magician. So you have all the talents to win this argument, okay? Don't worry about it too much. There could be an Aries uh, as the or a Gemini, an other Gemini that you're arguing with or having disagreements with because the magician also represents Gemini and Aries. Very strong people, both signs very strong. Okay, look at them, they're fighting, then boom. And this could also be within yourself, the light side and the dark side, or the feminine or the masculine. You might be out of balance 
Well, don't be. Don't argue. Don't strife within yourself. I know you can be very busy, Gemini, and that is why you could be arguing or feeling that you are being pulled on both sides. Remember, meditate, contemplate and evaluate and get the balance back and come into action. Go for what you want because you've got the King of Wands here and he's going towards a smoother time, a smoother face as the Six of Swords means a leaving rough waters. Perhaps that is what you're wanting. You want quietness. You want um, a gentle flow. You want to go with the flow. So that is what the king would do because he's very decisive. He's logical. He's passionate about what he does. And he, and he also loves to do things, especially lots of different things. So get the balance. You've got the the talents, you've got the intelligence, you've got both feet on the ground. Now stop arguing, make a priority list and come into action and be logical about it. Use your mind. You are uh, an air sign, so that is the mind that is also seeking more knowledge. And be logical about it. Don't drift on something too long. Take a page out of his book. Your passion will carry you forward to a quieter waters, but you must also be quiet within, balanced with, within yourself. You could also be meeting an Aries, as the King of Wands is Aries. So Aries is quite dominant in your reading. But don't forget Sagittarius or Leo. A Leo might be helping you with a battle to sort out to think logically and to sort out issues at hand. You are moving away from rough waters to quieter waters and you might be crossing water if you are travelling. Because the Six of Swords is also a new beginning. New beginning here and new beginning at the week because you're leaving something behind. Rough times, hard times, you're going into better times. You might even be moving home or going on holiday. Now I'm going to start layering. You've got the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Perhaps you might have trouble with this new beginning of yours. This could be a job. This could be a passion with a fire sign. Remember, you, you might not want passion. You want this gentleness of a partner that cares about you and thinks about you. Well, if you do meet an, a, an air sign, an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius, as you've got the Ace, there could be um, competition within that relationship because they are very fast and they're also thinkers, but they they think about things and you might act upon it something much more swiftly. So know your boundaries and know their boundaries so that you don't get burnt because the flames can really get high. Okay. Well, my darlings, don't worry because I think you're going to come together. This is your soulmate as you have the Two of Cups. Here's the cup sign and your cheers. You're coming together. You might have met your soulmate so long you stay within the boundaries. And this is really fantastically represented in this um, in this re in this card in these cards because the magician is the circle and when you come together it's complete you've met your soulmate but keep within the boundaries don't exert your boundaries don't exert their boundaries know each other's boundaries and have respect for that okay Gemini then we go on to the ten of cups look at that the Ten of Cups, like you've met up here, your soulmate, and you're, you've enarmed each other, and you're moving forward together. You've decided that you're going to stay together, that what, so long you know each other's boundaries, you won't get burnt. 
and again we have the fool the fool is a butterfly here look at that or a moth and he's spreading his wings so you are moving forward and spreading your wings you're not scared of the past anymore you're not scared of competition and, and the arguments will be fiery because you're very very um, sharp and they're <laughs> they are sharp as well because fi fire does sting when you burn yourself then we have the ace of cups on this new beginning that you have come into action your cup is flowing over you are part of a beautiful new beginning let it be passion let it be love let it be something that you want to nurture yes nurture this relationship and water calms down the fire okay Don't, and so balance those emotions because the cups stand for emotions as well one of you might be very spiritual you could also be meeting um, a water sign this could be a, a cancer scorpio uh, or a pisces with fire within the sign the moon sign or the rising sign whoa that that's brilliant so you could be meeting a fire sign with water or a water sign with fire but it will balance you out because water dampens the fire and water uh, when air and water come together there is air in the water it's refreshing okay they complement each other and then we've got the eight of pentacles this could be a working partnership that will deliver recognition and more money joining forces within uh, a business um, if this is about passion then yes you will have recognition from the other one that they love you as much as you love them money will not be an object because you will work together as one and you have the same dreams as you have united and you know each other's boundaries then we have the queen of pentacles there you go now look how beautiful that I didn't expect this because I've just started to use them today I've been playing with them um, after I did the review but look the Queen of Pentacles and the King of uh, Wands they're intertwined again they are one and here they have um, hugging themselves or hugging each other they've bonded the arms are on each other's back she's the nurturing that could be you Gemini uh, taking a page out of the Queen's cup or you might be the active one and the other one will be nurturing that is your partner the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo but don't exclude Taurus or Capricorn but you're coming together that's the big picture and the ten of cups is happy families the ultimate happiness being fulfilled coming to an end of loneliness and a new beginning together it could even be a reconciliation if you have been hooked up with a Virgo or um, an Aries or a fire sign or an earth sign they might be coming together again there could have been problems with regards to emotions or not knowing each other's boundaries or there could have been money problems and it wasn't balanced but now it is you've talked about it you've communicated and you know the boundaries of each other and so you are happy and you're, uni you're a unit again if not you're a new unit I would say if you could be the king of cups because you're active and you are nurturing as well Gemini if you're not meeting any of these people let your um, actions your active side come into your nurturing side 
be more nurturing come into action to take care of yourself and others if you are on your own but you could meet up with a pentacle then we have the page of wands and the page of wands brings you news this could be if there is um, a Leo or a Sagittarius or an Aries helping you um, uh, trying to bring out this 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 union sorry about that so if this this water sign or the the Leo um, is helping you uh, to get to quieter waters there might have been some arguments with people or in a judicial situation then they and the my emotions did run high and then the balance will be here there will be somebody helping you you've joined forces you've got recognition now okay and the money is coming in your hard work is going to pay off you're going to be ultimate ultimately happy you feel totally in balance with your with your nurturing side and your active side you've got your emotions under control you've nurtured yourself well done you're standing strong and you might have met somebody or you might have a partner and things are going well you're communicating with each other the balance is there and in harmony you know you are with your soulmate and you are happy you're both moving forward together but there will be news there could also be a pregnancy because I have got the page here okay the page and if you are pregnant in September then it will be an Aries it will be a fire sign how amazing is that because you remember you do have the full here a new beginning and I said the six of swords is in fact a new beginning so you're moving forward you are spreading your wings look at the butterfly and that's the full there will be news it could be of a child that you're pregnant or it could be um, a younger person could be bringing you news that the union you have created will bring forth a new generation how awesome a new beginning you've gone and taken that action and wow Gemini this is beautiful that's why you might be moving home to expand to make more room to, to let the new baby come in beautiful now the answer of the angels the answer of the angels is and sticking out look for a sign look for a sign well the signs are here in the reading showing you there is new beginnings possibly a birth definitely you feel that you are with your soulmate you've got recognition for each other okay and then you've got the apricot angel feather angel of kindness the angels applaud the acts of kindness that you perform regardless regularly for others and your thoughtful caring communicating style there you go beautiful you can wear apricot you can eat apricot and you can meditate on it this will help you bringing in the balance well this this reeling is de definitely m coming together and getting yourself in balance then it is the, from the deck time to shine number five action time to avoid any drama and confrontation focus on the light remain positive well that is the five of wands the first card that came out so walk away from drama and remain positive beautiful I hope you've enjoyed this reading Gemini take care have a beautiful week and stay safe. Please like and share.